Okay, my name is Marie Ryan. I'm from Mary Macula College, and I'm delighted to be here today with my colleagues, Marek McGann from Mary Macula College, Jennifer McMahon from University of Limerick, Alison Egan from Reno Institute of Education, and Tony Hall from NUI Galway. So I'm going to talk to you today about T-REX, or the Teachers Research Exchange. And this is a project about connecting teaching, research, and practice in initial teacher education. So I'm going to begin with uh, some history firstly, some ancient history and some more recent history. So I suppose um, our, most, our, our earliest and most eminent educational philosophers, way back from the time of John Henrik Pestalozzi to John Dewey, have been talking about the essential requirement for teachers to be researchers. I spoke about the importance of teachers engaging in regular cycles of inquiry, looking at their practice, learning from learners, for learners, and for the wider educational community once they share and add to that body of knowledge. But somewhere along the way, uh, that researcher role, which was seen as so central and so important, became peripheral and ultimately detached. And that responsibility for educational research was assumed by educational, higher educational institutions. And I suppose this is where a big gap emerged between educational research and educational practice. And Irish teachers are frustrated with that gap. And at the beginning of this whole process, we spoke to teachers on the ground, and one of them spoke in relation to the higher education institutions and schools. They said, they're like two different worlds, and there's a lack of a link between the two, and that's a link that is needed to change practice and to move things forward. So that really is our vision. It's the vision for this project, to build a digital bridge between these two very disparate worlds. So now the more recent history. Uh, so in 2015, we came to the National Forum against a policy backdrop which was really pushing this teacher-researcher approach in teacher education. We had pushes within the ITE uh, teacher accreditation guidelines coming from the Teaching Council, but also in national policy documents for teachers. And we came and we presented this vision, which was to create a digital infrastructure for student researchers, for teacher researchers, and for higher education researchers to engage and collaborate together in an online community of practice for educational research, sort of ensuring that educational research was informed by educational practice and vice versa. And we have moved quite a long way on that journey, but I suppose we haven't fully realised the, the ambition yet. So first of all, I suppose we had to build that bridge. And we did succeed in delivering feature-rich technology. We built the bridge. That was the first big job that we had to do, and we did that. But I suppose also we had to ensure that we had a community, and we had to take a number of steps to build that community. And we succeeded in bringing about a large community, which included student researchers, teacher researchers, and higher education researchers. And by the end of that project, we'd over 1,000 active users. So we told people about the bridge, we brought them to the bridge, and we figured out some effective ways of getting them to cross that bridge and meet each other in the middle. So we piloted, on a small scale, a number of different ways that worked effectively to actually use this project. I suppose we presented this slide at the end of our National Review piece before. Um, we said a lot done, more to do. So we were able to recycle this slide. We had clearly identified areas that we needed to work on and the base of feedback as well from the forum. I suppose the biggest thing was some people maybe found the, uh, the bridge a little bit difficult to navigate. So we have looked at trying to incorporate some software um, developments in terms of this new package and this new project. But I suppose in order to sh secure the ultimate um, long-term value of this project, we needed to embed it into ITE practice. So that is the big focus of this particular project. We also want to diversify participation. It was very small scale the last time. We embedded it in a few of our own modules, but now we've got new partners on board with us. We're delighted to have Marino Institute of Education with us, and we're extending a national reach 
to, to try and push this project in much more national impact, building more partnerships as we go through the process and more, um, a, a bigger community, a more vibrant and active community and more support materials to guide people along the way as they navigate that bridge. Okay, so now to the future. What are we going to deliver? Well, this project has three core strands, right? The first one is looking at integrating research into teaching and learning, right? So rather than, I suppose the last time when we came up here, we were thinking, okay, we're gonna target research methods modules. That's what we were about here. But we realised over the course of our project and what the focus of here is, it's not about this detached, isolated approach to research methods. It's about an incremental, integrated approach to research methods. So what we're talking here is not about the research methods modules. We're talking about integrating T-REX and collaborative research engagement into the general ITE modules, be they teaching of maths, teaching of language, inclusion, integrating in that way so that students are experiencing research methods. They're linking practice and research in a real life way as they go out throughout their program, not this detached thing that happens at the end. And they don't really see the relevance of it. So that's core to the whole piece. The second strand is to build that community. And I'll speak to you about the ways that we have um, conceptualised in terms of how we are going to do that. And the last piece is about software support, improving our software, improving the web platform and um, finessing the app and really working on, on the, app, app, uh, the application for the, the site and more support materials so that people can actually use this um, very effectively. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, we are going to begin with stakeholder dialogues. We are going to begin by having workshops in all the IT institutions between students and lecturers to facilitate collaborative reflection on the teaching and learning experience, to figure out what these people actually need and what is actually going to work for them, to hear the voice of the students and to hear the voice of the lecturers. And I suppose the student voice is central to this. And in fact, it was one of the biggest drivers of this focus that we have in this particular um, piece of work. We, the students the last time said to us, and I, I'm sort of paraphrasing a quote, a very powerful quote that, that we actually were, were very moved by it. They said to us, yeah, you know, we had done research methods modules before, but we didn't really see them as being relevant for our jobs as teachers. But now, having experienced a T-Rex integrated approach to a module, like now, you know, research, it's so important. This is the voice of the students. So that has really influenced our, our approach in this, absolutely. Um, Module redevelopment programme is um, really looking, oh, after that we're going to look at an intense uh, um, look at professional development for the, for the lecturers and so that they can integrate it with supports because it takes a lot of time, it'll take a lot of work and support to in order to do that, so we're working on doing that. And we also want to make sure that we produce t um, worked examples, or as we like to call them, T-Rex exemplars of how people have effectively used this in their practice so that they can share that as a resource for future. We have a very clear focus in terms of how to build our community of practice. We learned very quickly in the previous project that just setting up a digital infrastructure and bringing people there doesn't mean that they're going to talk to each other. That you can't just organically expect a community of practice to grow, you have to scaffold it. And we've done that in this focus week approach. So we pick an identified um, theme related to education and we share research news related to that identified theme over the course of that week. We invite members of our community who've done MEDs and done undergraduate dissertations on that particular theme but nobody ever hears about them to create three minute um, a dissertation or thesis videos to share on Rex. We're going to set up journal clubs so that we can invite our colleagues who will be related to a particular theme to pick one of their research journals which often might not have huge readership and it's definitely not going to get too much readership in the in the teaching or student population so that they can share it with a particular group on Rex of teachers and students and they can discuss it to show real impact and to try and translate that research into having a research impact and we will continue as well with the very successful uh, Rexpert chats or T-Rexpert chats now where we bring an international expert which will be related to the theme to discuss 
that theme and the research related to that theme with the students and teachers. And a T-Rex advisory panel will also be set up to ensure that this is an iterative process, evolving process with voice of all stakeholders represented on that. And finally, the last round is software and development. We're going to look at refining features and looking at some structural redevelopment of the platform on the basis of previous feedback, improving the visibility of the projects, and we're also going to really work on that mobile app development, which students spoke to us as being really critical for their engagement with the platform. And we're also going to try and capture user experience more so in support materials so that students can and uh, lecturers can um, navigate the whole process much more effectively and easily. So I'm going to hand you over now to my colleague, Marek McGann, who's going to talk to you about impact and sustainability. Okay. So, um Maria's already hit on a number of the things where we're going to see impact. Um, the, the, some of the, the, the strands of the project um, primarily involve a substantial amount of professional development. And to a large extent, um, the, the resources here are set aside in order to t take pressure off people who want to change. And there is already a strong appetite for redevelopment of the way we do things and for better inclusion of research and so on in um, initial ter teacher education modules. But everyone's under pressure. And through dedicated spaces such as the workshops and then um, support programs um, that we've included in, in the work packages, we basically just will offer an opportunity to just depressurize a little bit in so that people get an opportunity to reflect and, and revise their work in collaboration and in dialogues from the start with um, teachers and, and other um, um, sort of peers. Um, those redeveloped modules then, as uh, Marie mentioned, will, will be developed into worked examples. And the aim here at all stages really is to lower the bar for entry, lower the barrier, um, so as that it becomes easier and uh, more fluid um, and less of a, a daunting challenge to change the way you do things and to adopt effective means of integrating research activity into your modules. Um, and this supports um, the just that culture of enhancement of evidence-based practice, which is changing within the teaching profession nationwide within Ireland, and also then essentially has, is having knock-on effects throughout initial teacher education as a result. And because all of this is scaffolded through the, the, the online social network, um, it's in going to involve a lot of integration with um, technology-based um, delivery, and therefore we will see improved technological self-efficacy uh, with ITE module leaders as well. Within the community development, we've got a wider network. We already have um, new uh, initial teacher education um, institutions on board through Merino. Um, we've had very, power uh, very useful and very positive dialogues with the likes of the Institute of Education in DCU as well. Um, and through um, another, other partnerships, um, we have sort of an extensive um, professional network for um, research engagement um, in, in teaching as well, uh, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a second. Um, and one of these things, the, uh, as Marie mentioned, of what Rex allows or T-Rex allows is this bringing together of people from different professional backgrounds. Teachers can be on T-Rex. They don't have to join a specific university um, teaching system in order to do it. Um, student teachers start with T-Rex and they keep the same profile as they go out into the teaching world. And we already have examples of students who were in final year modules that uh, involved um, a sort of a T-Rex or Rex-based component who have now come back as the teachers to collaborate with students um, in, in those same modules um, so that there's a sort of a, a gradual growing of the community in that way. Um, in terms of sustainability for membership, history to date shows a strong potential for growth. Um, as Marie mentioned, we have um, more than a, um, a thousand active members. We're in the, the 1300s or thereabouts. Um, but just to, one of the, the principal means we do it is through the joy of having the captive audience of undergraduate students. Um, PME students and B.Ed. students across the country. So if, even if we just take these dotted lines are um, cumulative numbers of graduates per annum from each of the participating institutions. Even if only 10% of those um, students stick around and continue to use Rex through um, their teaching life, we get this green um, sort of gradually growing graph of um, engaged T-Rex users. And that doesn't include the teachers. And um, because this is, um, with, with this project, we're focused on this, the area of higher education. The aim is to sort of focus on, on bolstering that aspect of the community. But we have a complementary project, um, which will involve other elements of, um, to sort of round out the community. 
Um, so we, will con uh, we aim to continue to recruit other IT providers, uh, but also, crucially, we're building national-level governance structures in collaboration with professional bodies. That includes the Teaching Council, that includes the National Council for Curriculum and Assessment, and the Centre for Effective Services. Um, and they are, we're developing a, a sort of a T-Rex steering group to help guide the, the development of the project within national priorities. And the, the T-Rex Advisory Forum, or the T-Rex Advisory Panel, as Marie mentioned, which is a forum of stakeholders, students, um, higher educational professionals, um, teachers, and, and um, uh, pro professional support bodies. Um, so very, and that really is the sort of the aim to sort of continue to develop the, the, the clicker seems to have stopped working. So I'll just sort of briefly mention as well, in terms of maximizing that sustainability, there's, a, there's another project which is focused on bringing the teachers. Um, the T-Rex is, uh, is already in use and uh, continued use by research engaged teachers. Um, so this is the Teaching Council website and through um, they are sort of already advertising the, uh, what it was, the Rex and is going to become the T-Rex system as a means of sharing research activity. Um, and also there is a, a supported project by this Research Alive Consortium, as they call themselves, the Teaching Council, the NCCA and the CES, who aim to drive um, the embedding of T-Rex activities within schools and um, teachers' research activity through, for example, the Teaching Council's research support framework. Um, that will bring the teachers to the group of students and higher educational professionals that uh, we are looking for your support um, in this instance. Thanks very much. <laughs>